We're back. We've had some requests to see what our handbrake setups are like on the Groms. Um, we don't use any fancy dual caliper setup or anything like that, so we need a rundown of what we've got. We use the junction valve. The whole kit is going to cost you less than 100 quid if you use the information that we give you. So if you're looking at getting one, check the video out. I'm going to explain a few things. There's a lot of horror stories about the junction valves, but I'm just going to talk you through this and explain what people are doing wrong to make these bad things happen to them. So just stay tuned, check it out. I'm back in the garage and I'm gonna talk you through our handbrake setups on the Groms and I'm gonna show you the links and the information you need to run this setup and it's gonna cost you less than 100 quid. And despite the horror stories that are kicking about, this is safe. They are safe. Don't care what other people say. I've made my own mind up. I've read a lot of research about this and I'm going to talk to you and tell you about why people were saying these run safe. So if you're interested in stunting a Grom, doing wheelies, anything like that, as you know, a lot of people use a handbrake setup. Here's my handbrake setup. This lever came as a pair. It cost me about £23 off eBay for a pair of these hydraulic levers. Now, some of you'll notice, some of you might not, but this lever's upside down. And the reason that is, is because the hydraulic line there comes off the top effectively. So if you flip the right hand lever and put it on the left upside down, that would be up here if it was the left hand one and it would obstruct your single finger clutch lever so logic behind the madness there is that we flip that round that kept that clear it works perfectly fine I mean it looks a bit low you've got to excuse this it came with like this really cheap bracket on it the bracket for this snapped off after numerous sort of failed wheelies and crashing down quite hard but it still works fine uh, the next thing you'll need is a short clutch lever so this I got this off Wish, of all places, given the current situation. Um, you're probably not going to be one to order one of them right now, given what's going on. It'll take probably a year to get here, but they do these on eBay. Um, what I paid with delivery and everything works out about the same as the eBay one anyway. It didn't work out any cheaper. It was about £22, I think it came in at. So they're easily readily available on eBay, um, and that'll just hook up straight to your existing clutch line. So you don't have to worry about any changes there. You just get the short lever, put it on. Now I've got it on this side. A lot of people I've seen swap these over. However, you need a slightly longer clutch cable for that because that's pretty maxed out as it is. And then when you turn uh, that way, you can see it's just taking a bit of strain now. Still works fine. But if I was to go, whatever that is, 20, 30 mil to the left, that's maxed out, that's pulling tight, and then that'll actually start disengaging your clutch. So it'll be almost like you're just pulling the lever slightly like that. So you can get a longer one. I haven't bothered, it's been fine for now. Um, the other thing as well, you're gonna need a, a new brake line. So mine's here. Uh, I think they're 120 centimeters long. That's the one I used that gave me enough uh, slack on it effectively to get down through here round and then down to here so on the standard rear brake setup it's linked off this brake basically your handbrake lever is that's your foot brake and this would be the line that ran off to your brake reservoir for your rear brake lever so on your standard one, you'll have a bit of a tube and then I think it mounts up here somewhere. So that'll get replaced, that'll come out. That's your junction valve there. Now, when I first got this and I fitted it, it was weeping very slightly out of this seal. And what I didn't really realize at the time was I hadn't pushed it in far enough. It looked like it was in, I couldn't push it in anymore, but I had to really give it some effort. I had to clamp it. And yeah, it, it went down eventually. And yeah, there's no leaks there now. I've seen people running this with like a, like a Jubilee clamp wrapped round just as a precaution, but there's no need, no need at all. I haven't had to bother with that since I've put it on properly now. 
So this junction valve is off Demon Tweaks. The link is in the description as well. Um, they are 50, I think they're 50 pounds and 53 pence or something like that with VAT on top. What this does effectively is they share the same brake now. So what happens when you pull the handbrake, when you pull the handbrake there, the fluid gets pushed through, gets pushed into here, which is the same as pressing that down. That forces the fluid up through here, around your brake line, onto your caliper, squeezes your brakes. Before I got mine, I looked into it. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. The dual caliper setups you can get, they're, they're supposed to be really good. I'm not undermining how good they are, but they're quite a bit of money and we were just starting out. So we just bought the bikes, wanted to just get a handbrake to practice doing some stand-ups because we wanted to get a stunt frame. So we ticked that off the list and then we realized pretty quickly we definitely need a handbrake. So we looked into it. We were almost, we were like this close to buying a dual caliper setup everyone was like get a dual caliper set up don't buy the junction valve don't do that they're dangerous my mate fell off this guy i know his kitten had two bikes and they both had them on and they both failed on him it's a load of rubbish and the way i came to the conclusion that that was rubbish was that this setup is effectively the same as what we would use in drift cars as like a rear handbrake or an e-brake so you'd have a hydraulic lever next to the driver. So as you're driving along, there'll be a lever there, which is like a handbrake. You'd pull it and that'll lock the back wheels up. And drifters use this in drift cars. It's, it's good for correcting your line and stuff like that, scrubbing speed off, all sorts of things. But they're really effective and they're really good at locking the back brakes up. And they work effectively the same way as this setup does. They're linked in through your servo and it's like teed into your rear brake. So the same as this, your handbrake's teed into your rear brake. Never known one fail. The only time people get problems with them, and this is really down to user error, user setting up, it took me ages to bleed this, and that's why. You bleed it and bleed it and bleed it, and because you've got two points of leverage, you have to work them together to bleed it. You can't just bleed one line, which is linked from there to there, so from the handbrake down to there, you can't just bleed that. You have to bleed that. And then while that's being held in pressure, you bleed that, which forces the pressure through. It took me ages. I'm not going to lie. It was a pain, but dual caliper setups, they're quite a bit more expensive than the junction valve. And honestly, I know people say they're good, but if you're on a budget, if you're just starting to learn or anything like that, you know, the first thing you want to be doing is really saving a bit of money. Everyone wants to go the cheaper route. You're only human. You don't want to spend 300 quid when you could spend 100 quid. So that's the route we went. And honestly, I've no problem. I've never noticed any issues with it. You know, it bites, it locks up well. I will say the dual caliper setups are probably a lot stronger I would say that it takes less effort to lock the back brake up. That's probably the only real like, benefit I can see with it. So I'm happy with that. At the end of the day, it's functional, it works, and it costs me less money. And the money I saved off that basically paid for this. I mean, this is a Stunt Savage Creations uh, 12 bar, and these are really good kit, they're so strong. So yeah, shout out to Raf. Cheers to them. So if you're interested in getting one of these handbrake setups, if you check out the description below, I've dropped in the links to where some of the junction valve and things like that are. Um, price breakdown, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a total of about 100 pounds, which may be cheaper in America, I don't know. Um, so for that, you're gonna get yourself the junction valve adapter, uh, a brake line, the single finger clutch or the short clutch, whatever you want to call it, and the brake lever set up and your brake fluid. And that's everything you're going to need for it. If you like the video, just give us a like, please. Um, share us. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Check out some of our other videos as well in the playlists.